So for those of you that don't know, Samwise Didier, the dude responsible for the art of Warcraft, uh, you may be familiar with him. If you're not, then there's a little clip from one of my videos that just kind of goes into descriptive detail. Samwise Didier, who's responsible for the original Warcraft 3 models back in the early 2000s. He mastered the art of impactful simplicity. Each and every single OG model stood out in their own style, shaping and silhouette, as well as their personality. Not that one though. But uh, yeah, he left Blizzard, unfortunately. So he announces his retirement from Blizzard Entertainment after 32 years, which is sad, but it's a long time. So respect to him for that. I thought he was going to kind of be there to the end, but I guess 32 years is a long time, right? He started when he was young. So senior art director Samwise Didier announced his retirement from Blizzard Entertainment today, created with, um, credited with creating Blizzard's art style and even coming up with a Warcraft name. For 32 years, he lent pen and voice to bring in these words to life. It says, what lies beyond the storm? That's almost like a reference to Heroes of the Storm because he worked on Heroes of the Storm as well, which is what that video was going on about a little bit. Uh, the comparison between that and Reforged. Um, hey all Blizzard family and friends, today is a huge day for me, I wanted to share the news with you all, I am retiring from my beloved Blizzard Entertainment and today will be my last day. Now most kids I know move out of the home when they are 18, well maybe not these days, but for me it took me damn near double that, it's inspiring and intimidating all at the same time. Blizzard was never just a job for me, I joined the company in 1991 and it immediately became my second home, I found out I had a family that I didn't even know I had, I grew up there. I learned almost everything I know about art there. I learned how to use a computer. I only knew Atari 2600 and Nintendo. I learned how to use Photoshop. I learned how to u create UI and make thousands of buttons. I learned how to create 3D models of my art, how to texture and animate them, and even make them shoot fireballs or lasers. Very uh, naturally talented, this guy, because yeah, he set the path of the Warcraft 3 design, essentially, and Warcraft onwards. How to texture and animate them, and uh, even make them shoot fireballs. I got to see my art come to life. How I even joined my first band at Blizzard, and to top it all off, I got to work on some of the greatest games this hero world has ever known. Thank you, Blizzard, for everything. If I were to leave any words of wisdom to the mighty Blizzard Entertainment, it would be this. Blizzard family always draw big shoulder pads. ABC. My friends. Samwise. Yeah, they're the big shoulder pads. Obviously inspired from the Warhammer universe, because Warcraft well, Warcraft in general was supposed to be like, um, sort of, I don't know, it's like a, uh, a Warhammer project, but Blizzard ended up making their own company, essentially, and then going their own way, but they still kind of use that style, as you can tell, because it was like the Green Orcs in Warcraft 2 and all that kind of stuff uh, in the Warcraft one. Very much uh, the traditional Orcs from Warhammer. Now, Congrats on the legendary run, says Frost Giant Studios. On behalf of our entire team, thank you for everything you taught us. Your art will forever hold a place of honor in our hearts and imaginations. The storm will live on forever. ABC. Okay. So, um, he actually has a video as well going about why he left Blizzard, which we're going to have a little watch. But this goes in to say about his career from 1991, which we heard a bit about, and what he's done in Blizzard. And he said, coming up with the name of Warcraft based on his D&D &D character at the time. He also created the Pandaren, which we know. So there's a secret Pandaren here, if you can spot him. I think, if I remember, he's supposed to be either in one of these spots for some reason. Although now that I look at this, it doesn't stand out to me. So it's either hidden in the background somewhere, wasn't he? Where's the panda? Ah, there he is. Yep, I see him now. He's over here. <laughs> you never would know that unless someone told you, really. <laughs> or at least it's unlikely to find out. So yeah, new video is up. We're going to watch that in a moment. This one you might want to check as well. So go to Wowhead if you want the article. He talks about uh, reminiscing on 32 years of Blizzard. But this one I haven't seen, so I'm going to watch this. Hail Pandawans and journeymen walking that illustrated path. So in case, uh, in case some of you don't know, last Friday on yes, I mean. 10th of November, remember, remember the 10th of November, <laughs> uh, I announced on my Twitter and my Instagram and my Facebook and all my little, you know, teenage, teenage uh, kid sites that I keep in contact with the youths, uh, I announced that I had uh, retired 
and stepped down from my beloved day job at Blizzard Entertainment and as senior art director. And now I'm walking the illustrated path as a, a, a Ronin artist, have something I haven't done in, well, really ever, because I started at Blizzard when I was 21, and that was my first job kind of in the industry. I mean, I had done artwork for myself and for my D&D &D groups and things like that, but never really professionally. But so it's the first time stepping away. And what, what am I now? 53. Yeah. So I had basically, uh, you know, I'd been at Blizzard for 32 years. That's crazy, isn't it? Like, oh, well over half his life. <laughs> <laughs> he's been at Blizzard. So when you put that into perspective, he's done his time for sure. So a lot of people, yeah, 30 years is a long time and they can retire off that. Especially with all the work he's done at Blizzard, I would think he's probably in a good position. But he even, like he says, he you know he sort of still sells his artwork and such. Otherwise, so he's going to continue doing that. This guy's basically always drawing, so it's in his blood. He's always going to be doing it, whether he's at Blizzard or not. And so, you know, I had a lot of people online giving great well wishes and and not too many people were, were upset about it or negative about it or anything like that, which was great. My main negativity about it would be that it means that Blizzard is probably not going to necessarily keep to his style because everyone had to draw like Samwise within reason. So he was essentially the base template for the Warcraft universe, and that includes World of Warcraft and all that. So big shoulder pads, for example, all that kind of stuff. It had to follow a certain line, so that way everyone is drawing, is creating similar artwork, rather than this creature looking completely different to this creature, which is kind of what like Reforge was in a way. So um, without Samwise there, you're probably going to get more furry scaly stuff which you had with the Shadowlands not yeah not Shadowlands the Dragonflight and stuff like that so you're going to get probably more in depth with that line of thinking not that Samwise has any control over every single project that's ever made but generally speaking I can see it sort of deviating off um, but yeah I thought I would share kind of the reasons why I stepped away and and then you know if you're listening for for juicy gossip and drama there's unfortunately yes. none of that all the drama. Um, you know, it had nothing to do with, you know, of the Microsoft deal or had nothing to do with Activision or anything like that. It was, well, <laughs> basically it, it has to do with, with my pops, my dad. Huh. So a few years ago, my dad uh, passed away hmm. and he was, you know, almost 78. So pretty good amount of time. Could have always could have been longer, of course. Love you, pops. Um, but I remember when he passed away, it, it got me thinking it's like, well, if my dad and I have the same sort of genes, well, my dad was 6'1", so he had actually, his genes are a lot longer than, than mine. And the waist was a little bigger too. But, <laughs> but no, if my dad and I have like basically the same genes. I get it. You know, will I be passing away at the, you know, the age of 78? And like I said, I'm 53. So figure that out. That's, you know, it's 25, 25 years, right? So... If I have 25 more years, what do I want to work on? You know, obviously I could, I could keep working on the things like, like I do at work, you know, working on stuff like Warcraft, Starcraft, you know, Diablo, all these different games that I've worked on for literally decades. Uh, I think, God, I think Warcraft's coming up on its, geez, 30th anniversary and in few more years too so it's like I could I could keep working on that um but then I also think like what what more really could I do that I haven't already kind of contributed to I remember this with with the Warcraft movie you know they had said hey do you want to do some concepts for the Warcraft movie and I'm like what's wrong with the you know, hundreds of concepts I've done already <laughs> for Warcraft. You can use those. Uh, there's not really a reason for me to work on it other than it'd be cool to say I worked on a, the Warcraft movie. But yeah, I didn't really want to... I've, I've already done that, right? So that's kind of how I was thinking. He's contributed a crazy amount, like so much to Blizzard. Like they are so lucky to have him. Like if you really think just a few key pieces were missing, like Chris Metzen or Sam Wise from the original Blizzard, like it's just 
what would it be? It probably just wouldn't be anywhere near as successful as it is. Like he's really set the path. Like his royalties should be like massive, really. Let's face it, for what he did do for them. You know, when my dad passed away, and I was thinking about what I want to spend the next 25 years on, and it's like, okay, well, you know, I know a lot of you know, and some of you have actually purchased a bunch of my uh, my work. Blizzard had this fantastic program called Side Projects. And what that allowed the artists and engineers and anyone, basically anyone at Blizzard, any, it allowed them to wow, look at those work eyes. on their own personal projects. And, it, and it, you know, as long as it's not doing something like, you know, I'm, make, I'm making a StarCraft lunchbox or something like that, you know, as long as it didn't have to do with Blizzard IPs, they were cool with us. Basically, you know, people even worked on games and, and, and apps and stuff like that. And I got to work on books. You know, I worked on illustrated novels. So I, it, I think it was 2017, I had uh, actually two of my side projects came out. One was called Grimbeard Tales of the Last Dwarf, which was basically about the last dwarf in the world, in a world ruled by elves. <laughs> uh, and the one after that was The Last Winter, which was an illustrated novel, which Basically, is just Viking pandas. So, I think <laughs> it's I've one of seen my favorite that. things I worked on. It was so fun. Um, and then after that, I think a year or so later, uh, Strange Highways came out with my uh, my buddy Mickey. Uh, and that's basically you know Kill Bill meets Circus Freaks. So, and it's you know done in a black and white style, like a la Bernie Wrights and and a uh, little tribute to him. And what else? Oh yeah, like I did my How to Draw book, which you know which was a cool, a bunch of mythical uh, creatures. I did some step-by-steps how to draw. And then then also came out uh, Brutal, The Art of Samwise, which was like a big old 300-page um, art book. Just, you know, all my art that I've done over the course of my life. Um, so I've, I've been totally enjoying doing these side projects. And, um, yep, oh, forgot, I've got one coming out too next year called Skinner. Uh, graphic... Uh, How's that artwork? That's crazy. See my quiz YouTube videos. All right. Hello, NT. Yeah. Well, just watching a video at the moment about Samwise Didio leaving Blizzard. You know, it's quite soothing to listen to. So I'm not really doing too much like React, essentially, because you're just listening. A novel, horror, graphic novel, basically dealing with uh, uh, like six internet celebrities get you know win a trip to go to a you know a, a, a survival guy you know in the wilds for the for the week or whatever and of course things go lovely for him <laughs> but that'll be coming out next year too but i guess what i was uh sorry getting back to it, it was like i really enjoy working on what i do at work you know but i guess what i really enjoy working on too is my own worlds like you know i've told you all many times like you know, stop living in other people's worlds, create your own. And, you know, I, I felt like I was doing that. If, if only Hollywood would listen to that one, eh? Get some better movies. With Blizzard, because these were worlds that we came up with on our own and created them. They were ours, but, you know, it's really not ours. You know, it's Blizzard's, it's not mine. So do I want to spend another, you know, the next 20... Yeah, I see there, and he's he's more worried about legacy, perhaps. But I mean, honestly, like even if it's like for work, and I can understand, like it's for a company, so you don't technically own the rights to that work. I think anyone with half a brain would easily just contribute the work to him and not to Blizzard. Uh, at least that's kind of the way I look at it. So he's already done more than enough to you know create his own legacy. Because he has like goodness knows how many fans, or at least they don't maybe know that he's responsible, but they appreciate it nonetheless for those that grew up with Warcraft for what he's done, the worlds that he's created in that sense with his art. Five thirty years working on these worlds again, but I've already contributed so much to them. Do I want to work on things like you know the the next Blizzard universe, or do I want to work on the next? sammy verse or whatever that would be right i thought he was supposed to be working on that survival game that blizzard were sort of maybe he's just got his name attached to it but you know the survival game that blizzard's working on and maybe this is part of it as well sort of like it's all come together to make him wonder hmm, do i want to be involved with this one for like goodness knows how long or do i want to go my own way now 
or basically just, you know, the things that I create that I can, you know, leave to my kids. They can, uh, they can, you know, do with them as they please when I'm gone. And, you know, I'm not trying to make this sound morose or anything. I don't, I'm not like consumed about death is imminent or anything like that. But I just had that kind of, um, that realization. It's like, well, shit, dude, you've got less 25, you've got 30 something years, 32 years of blizzard. And now you got 25 left for yourself. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, go gung ho and work on my own worlds. And that was the real reason. Uh, wasn't anything negative about the company, love the company, love the games we're working on. You know, we just had some really cool games come out recently, you know, <coughs> I heard me. overwatch too was pretty good. Um, you know, what was kind of sad though, uh, when, uh, I made the announcement, uh, and I kind of forgot about this. Some people were saying like, well, what happens to elite Torrent chieftain? And I'm like, Oh, that's right, because I was the last uh, member of Elite Torrent Chieftain at Blizzard. All the other guys, they're, well, I think they're all over, basically. Um, most of them are doing uh, Dreamhaven, oh. or the companies, you know, right beneath them. And then I know um, another one is off working on his own uh, stuff with another friend of ours. But yeah, that was pretty, uh, I was like, oh, wow, that was... Uh, Unless he's banned. That's right. Well, I mean, the great thing is, is ETC lives on in the game. And, of course, through its CDs that have been, uh, you know, released. <laughs> I think that's so funny. For for a band that has, you know, I guess, arguably well-known enough that people know it's we've never released a CD. We've never done anything like that. So, who knows? Maybe now with uh, this... this free time. And so that, that's the thing too. When I, I put, I'm retiring from blizzard because I'm, I'm not leaving it. I'm still going to be doing some work for blizzard. Uh, maybe not directly, but you know, working with companies that, you know, either maybe doing some hearthstone cards or maybe doing things with upper deck, like those Arthas prints I did for blizzcon. I don't know if you guys have seen them go to my Twitter page. You can see the two versions, but apparently everyone really loved them. They sold out. And I remember when I was working on now I'm curious. Is this it? It was 2021, so it could be what it was. Obviously, <laughs> now I was just genuinely curious to sort of see what it was. That's the thing. If I was at the 2019 one, so it might be stuff like this. It's like, oh, okay. On him, it was great because I hadn't worked on Arthas Office. probably since maybe Warcraft three times. I Shame. How could you not do Arthas? I did make a point in actually one of his videos. Uh, his thing on this. Let's see. There we go. Before. There. It might be something like this. Because he's got Arthas before and then after. I made one of the most important points that could ever be made in a situation like this, where you see Arthas. Arthas did nothing wrong. That is absolutely true. Nothing wrong. I'm, I'm not sure. But, you know, it was really great putting a little bit of time and I effort like the green. into those, those big old pretty prints, so... Anyways, that's the lowdown, Pandawans. Uh, fear not, I'm not retiring from art. I'm just retiring from Blizzard, and I will remember. I will remember my ABCs, for I will always be creating. Hail! Oh, and now watch me fight the user interface to try to get my name into the corner. <laughs> Cheers and beers, everyone. Talk to you later. There it is. Yeah. Such a nice guy. Yeah. It's such a shame that he's gone. Like, you lost Mike Morheim and all those other Blizzard dudes. Obviously, Chris Metzen's come back now. So I wonder... I think he was stressed out for a while, was what Chris Metzen was. So then he sort of took a break. And then, oh, I think he missed it. So he's happy to come back in some way, shape, or form. But, yeah. No, it's definitely a loss for all of us, I think. Now that Samwise is gone. But, I mean, you know... He, he helped create what he created, which is huge for many of us. So thank you very much for that. 
And uh, 32 years, I think he's safe to say he's done his time. But the guy is always going to be drawing, always going to be drawing. Like, um, that's that's without a shadow of a doubt. So uh, Taylor says, since I was in middle school, you've been an inspiration to me. Finally, I was, when I was 33 years old at BlizzCon 2016, I got to meet you and you signed my art book. You stuck your hand out and said, hi, I'm Sam. It's a dream come true. Yeah, Sam Wise. I always remember the Illidan art that you did. And it's got like Sam Wise at the bottom right as well. My favorite art is, um, let's see, Sam Wise. Illidan art. That's the one. That's, that is my favorite picture. That's so fucking badass. It's ridiculous how good this is. Look at that. That is like, if that doesn't get you on, that's my um, Steam profile picture, that one. If that doesn't get you on Illidan's side, I don't know. Like, he's literally got the fire coming out of his massive hand claws. Like, huge muscles. He's just like got the fucking super cool weapon. And he's got those spiky feet. They weren't sure whether to give Illidan hoofs or whether he was going to have feet what he was going to be when they were originally creating him, but you got the Samwise down here, if you can see it. Yeah, I don't like the Demon Hunter in Warcraft 3 in the sense of how he plays and how to, you know, playing against him, Mana Burn, he's not particularly fun, but my God, he looks like such a cool character, and he is. He is a very cool character. But yeah, there we go. What's this? I began to feel a lot of affection for you, Chris Mess and Mike Horheim, Moreheim, since I watched a documentary, World of Warcraft, looking for group documentary. I'm not sure I've seen that one. I wish you all the best, even though Blizzard may not be the same anymore. I think, thank you very much for the art you created. Thank you for all the sharing. I appreciate Can we get that image for downloading? I want to keep it as a memento. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Sam Wise. It's a shame. It is a shame. That's not really much else to say other than thanks and sucks. <laughs>